Welcome to Quest for Metal. Today we are carrying on with our best albums from a certain year, and this year is 2014. And you know how it goes. Pop your favourite albums from 2014. Why is there so much saliva in my mouth? Pop your pop your favourite albums from 2014 down below. Let me know what you guys liked the most from this year. Which albums made you cream your panties? Which albums made you shit yourselves? Let me know down below, and we're gonna get started with my fucking list. So coming in at number 10 is Paul Bearer, Foundations of Burden. You know me, you know I love my doom, and you know I love Paul Bearer. They're always on these lists. Now, this one's quite low down because I don't think it's the best. Um, I do prefer Sorrow and Extinction, I do prefer Heartless, and some of the, you know, some of the newer ones. Um, this one's... Even though it's not one of my favourites, it's still Paul Bella, Pera, and it's still amazing. Anything they touch turns to gold. I know Metal Forge Reviews says everything after Sor Sorrow and Extinction is shit, but, you know, they can stick his finger up the bum bums. Um, I, I love this album. I love all the songs on it. It's just, you know, Sorrow and Extinction is quite, quite good. Quite good. Quite a high pedestal um, to try and overcome. But I think they did the darndest for this one. It's still one of my favourite albums. Um, it's just in the catalogue. It's not as good as some of the others. So that's the only criticism I can say for it. Because on its own, with its own merits, it's a fucking banger. So it's going on this list as my number 10, Foundations of Burden. I still love it. Ooh, some proggy shit for you now. Neil Bliviscaris with Citadel. This is like, what, like three songs? And one of them's like, what, like 25 minutes or something ridiculous? You know I love it already. I love New Blood of Scaris from the debut, um, which I've completely forgotten. Port of Eye, that's it. They released that, and I was like, holy shit, of Play Flower and the Kaleidoscope. Um, I think that's how you say it. It was such a majestic song, and that hooked me instantly. The whole cello thing, violin stuff, it's amazing with Prog. And this album maybe outdoes it. This album is just a flawless piece of art. If you like Prog Metal, if you like stuff like Opeth, like stuff like Dream Fit Between the Baron and Me, you gotta love Neil Bliviscaris. Come on, come on. And this is one of the best, so Citadel. It's gotta make it on a top 10. Now for something slow Dirges of Elysium by Incantation. Death Metal Giants, one of the later albums, and it's so dirgy, like the name, you know, suggests. S uh, sloozy? Not sloozy. It's not trying to like blow me off. It's um sludgy, that's the word. Very grimy, sludgy, dripping with ooze. That's what you like from Incantation. This delivers it. Death, Doom, goodness. And this is definitely one of the doomier ones, one of the darkest albums they've done. So you know, it's a it's a pickling my pepper. I love it. It's got it's gotta be here on the art. Ooh, it's a dark, I like it. Next up, wow, this is another Death Doom band. Autopsy. Tur I can't remember the name. Tourniquets, Hacksaws, and Graves. Yep, I always, I always mess up that title. But yeah, the one where he's like cut his fucking arm off and he's using like a, his own like arteries as, as like a bandage around the arm to keep the arm. I don't know. It looks stupid. I love it. The art is amazing. And the music itself, just as gruesome as the art. This is one of the better newer Autopsy albums. Autopsy had a bit of a weird patch with shit fun. Um, <laughs> uh, aside from that, all the others have been fantastic, and this is one of them. One of the later ones. Dirgy, doomy, evil. If you liked Incantation, you'll probably like Autopsy. And I didn't just like it, I loved it. So it's coming here. Next up, some melodic death metal. At the gates at War With Reality, my new... Favourite Out The Gates album. Yep, I prefer the more melodic stuff now, like this and um, the latest hour, uh, uh, bleh, bleh, the latest album, and um, To Drink From The Night Itself. I love that kind of ethereal nature of the albums. Um, some people find it boring, sure, but fuck it, I I'm not one of them. I love it. Spooky, atmospheric, at war reality. It's also catchy, it has catchy songs on as well, so... Pfft. Making it here. Next up is Doom Versus with Earthless. Hey, it's a band I've never mentioned before, but I like them a lot. This is Funeral Doom, so you know what to expect, but it's catchy Funeral Doom. Uh, the vocals are very just evil, 
and they kick a lot of ass. I need to do a ranking from them. This album is probably one of my favourites. Again, love the art, love the atmosphere, love the mood. And I love this album. So it's here. Oh, it's Epica time. The Quantum Enigma, one of my favourite Epica albums. I got the CD for this. Usually I don't have fucking hard copies, but I got it for this one. So you know I like it. Very, very cool arrangements. Proggy in nature. Simone's voice is just beautiful. You know? It's beautiful. Um, all the songs are just catchy as all hell. Um, it's one of the catchiest ones. It's one of the proggiest ones. I, I love it to pieces. It has this kind of like Middle Eastern vibe to the album a lot. I do think so. Um, what can I say? It's flawless. Epica do not have bad albums. So whenever Epica puts out an album, it's probably going to be on this list. Oh, hey, it's Opeth and they're not number one. What's going on? Pale Communion came out and it's... No, it's not probably. It's easily my favourite of the newer Opeth. Fucking easily. It's the most consistent album. It's the most prog rock album. The Sorceress is cool and all, but it's a bit of a weird sound and, and Heritage is just batshit insane. Um, this is the most consistent. I adore it. Um, Moon Above, Sun Below is a beautiful song. River's so good. Goblin, yeah. I, I love all these songs. Most consistent Opeth album. And I love it to pieces, so it's gotta be here. Number two, which, you know, could rise to number one some point. Yob. Yob, yob, yob. Clearing the path to ascend. How good is that art? How good is that art with like the three moons or whatever in the, in the background? Yeah, the art is serene and the music itself is also serene. This is, is it Funeral Doom? This is, I always think this is Funeral Doom, but I, I think it's like Sludge Doom? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. That kind of um, fuzzy, fuzzy nature around the music. It's kind of like Sleep. Because they have long songs and they're not Funeral Doom. It's more in the line of Sleep than, say, Evoken. But it's still got this dreamlike atmosphere, which I still adore. So I still love them. I still call them Funeral Doom. I don't fucking care. I'm going to throw them all in. Genres are stupid. So if you like the slow, um, dreamlike... Albums like, you know, Esoteric, Evoken, Asleep, anything like that, Electric Wizard, you'll probably enjoy this. It's easily one of my favourites from the band. Um, I love the band. They're, they're such a gem. This is another band I've never mentioned. But yeah, it's coming here on my number two spot because I love it so much and it might even rise higher, but we'll see. We'll see. So, no surprise to anyone because I spoiled myself. <gasps> It's gonna be The Satanist by Behemoth. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is a predictable pick. Whatever. It's still my favourite. It was my favourite from when I first heard it. It's my favourite Behemoth album. It also got me into the band. <laughs> got me into the band. It's my favourite. It's one of the first metal shirts, you know, I got again before I went back into metal. Before When I started my challenge, one of the first shirts I got. Love The Satanist. Love all the songs. Ben Sahar. Kicks ass, the Satanist kicks ass. Um, Blow your trumpets, Gabrielle. All these songs, classics. One of my favorite albums of all time. It's the best Behemoth album. Um, it's classic for a fucking reason. People say it's the best album of the decade for a reason because it's good. And if you want to be hipster and go against them, then cool, you know, do what you want. I don't fucking care. But for me, I'm actually going with the grain on this one. I think it's amazing, and it's easily. My fucking favourite of 2014. So, yeah, that was a fun list. I love all these albums. Tell me what you think about my picks down below. What are your favourites from 2014? Let me know down below and we'll see you again on another quest for metal. <laughs>